Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print out your own little like envelope, folder file kind of things here. Um, there's so many uses for these, I have a hard time knowing what to call them sometimes. I suppose uh, traditionally it's called like a an envelope maybe, I can't remember even, I should look and see what it's actually referred to. Uh, but this this is just such a fun origami because there's so many different pockets for you to put things in uh, Stuff over here for you to slide stuff into you can use it as a picture frame and put a photo in here uh, Have it standing in front of places for place settings. You could put place setting card name here in the middle so many different fun things you could do um, And this is kind of going along the lines of the animal print theme pattern series that I've been sharing with you guys so we've got like a zebra a cow one and a leopard one and um, then I'm just going to show you guys how to make it with the tiger version. So I'll get these guys out of the way for a second. And what we want to do is when you download the PDF and you open it up, you'll notice there's two pages. One is this larger rectangular shape. This particular origami uses a rectangular shape. And then uh, this other piece that goes on the inside. This is optional. If you don't want to use this, you don't have to. I think it makes your finished piece just look so much better. But that's just a point of preference to you guys. Um, if you want to save on ink and you know you're going to be putting a photo in there, you don't need this. If you know you're going to be putting a name card, for example, you don't need this too. Um, so some things to consider, obviously, if you want to save on ink. But um, what we want to do here is start with our color facing down. And I'm just going to fold in half. Open that up. And then we're going to do a door base by folding each of the outer edges into the center that I've just folded and you want to make sure you don't get it exactly on the center line because you'll maybe get a little too much of the white from the uh, other side of the paper here showing through. So make sure you're, you know, keeping that in mind. You don't want that to show up too much. And it's, you know, okay to have a little bit of space here in the middle because it's where we're going to fold everything in half when it's done anyway. So, um, but you can kind of get this folded over here. Open everything up. And then I'm going to take each of the corners and fold it up or down depending which way you're going to make a little triangle and I'm just going to do that like I said for all four sides here and once we've gotten all four of these sides and again with this too you don't need to be exactly on that creased edge because what we end up doing is folding back over to the center and if it's really too close on the edge it makes it harder to fold over flip it all over, having it a long way still. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold this part up. And I just want it to be folded up enough to get to this edge of the pattern. It should be really easy to do though because we've got that little bit of triangle that we folded up underneath. So it should naturally go to where you need it to. You can put a little pressure here to make sure that you can get it to fold down the way you want to. And we want to make sure that we're keeping everything really nice and pulled and tight here, keeping these edges matching at the top and the uh, bottom. Turn it around and do the same thing here. And uh, this is just um, one way to kind of keep it all straight. So we wind up with something like this. And then we're just going to take one of these and tuck it into the sides. And you know, which way you do that is which side you tuck can have something to do with how you want things to look when you uh, pop stuff open, if you like this to be folded over or if you like it to look like this. It depends on which part you want to be in the front. You know, if you want the, this to be in the front and this on top, then we've got it good. So some things you can kind of play around with as you make it. But that is the finished piece. And then, like I said, if you're gonna be putting a photo in here, you can, then you're done. If you're gonna put a name uh, card or something, you're finished. But if you wanna finish it off with this guy, with the color side facing up, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half so that I can match up my center crease with the crease of my folder here. I'm just gonna tuck into both sides and just shimmy this along until it's all the way to the back. And this is meant to be just a tiny bit smaller than the actual spaces here and that just gives you a little bit more leave room when you're putting this in here. Sometimes it could be a little tricky I'm going to try to get it going. Can, paper can kind of pop up and bend in, into a position, so you want to keep everything going so you don't tear anything on accident. Line up your center crease, and then you've got a finished piece. 
So uh, just a fun kind of pattern. I had a lot of fun making it. I think, you know, you could have so many fun uses for it. Um, you could take this along and keep like receipts when you go shopping. Um, so many different things that you could use it for. So, um, and um, like I said, it's a free downloadable that you can get on my website. There's the tiger version, the leopard version, the zebra version, and the cow version. Um, there's a link in the description below. You can get to my website that way, or you can click on the little information circle that's throughout the video, and that'll pop open a little window that'll take you there too. Um, and uh, this kind of goes along with the series of some other pieces for like um, uh, stationary wrapping goods, I guess you'd call them if you were to come, put it all into a title of group of something. But um, So I hope you guys can find some fun ways to use this, and I will have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!